So today I'm going to show you how to train on your own, how to plan your session with minimal equipment. If you're like me and your time is just limited, I'm going to show you how you can do a quick half an hour, 45 minute training session and it can still be beneficial for you guys. Thank you so much for the support of the channel. If you're new to our channel and you enjoy this content and it's helpful for you, hit the like button and follow us if you want. So guys, one of the most important things you need to do before you kick a ball is plan your session. This is how you're gonna be effective and productive with your training. Now for me, I've always enjoyed session planning. That's why I've become a coach. But if you're struggling for ideas and how to put it together, you can use the Jonah Football app. And I've done that in this instance just for the speed and agility. So here I'm searching through the Jonah Football app speed and agility section just to pick out my speed and agility for today's session. But it's really important that you pick a specific topic that you want to work on during your session. Today I've gone with passing, first touch and close ball control because I'm going minimal equipment in a small area. So guys, let's get started. Boots on, socks on, ready to go, whatever you feel comfortable in. It's so important to have your own warm-up routine. I hate warm-up guys, I find them boring, but they're so, so important. So find something that works for you and make sure you do it properly before you kick a ball. This is the setup that I've done for the speed and agility drill. I wanted to incorporate the ball just so I can get a feel for the ball because I'm doing a lot of passing and first touch. I've got four cones and a red stick at the back. There's no need for the red stick, it's just there for a guide, so you don't actually need it. And cones can easily be replaced by objects like shoes, socks, rocks, there's no excuses, it's still with limited equipment. So for this drill, you're gonna do five bounce passes against the wall, stop it dead, and then fast feet in between the cones, alternating from both sides. And we're gonna do a superset. So as soon as you finish doing this, you then go over to the red stick and you do a superset fast feet, as you can see on your screen. And we are going to repeat this, guys, three times for your training session. So guys, drill number two is just a slightly different variation where I'm using the other wall. I'm gonna go over the cones on red, play two passes, so receive with the back foot, play a pass with the left foot, and then it's gonna be a figure of eight through the yellow cones. So I'm just mixing up different variations with the way I'm moving my feet. Ideally, I want my passes to be nice and crisp in the middle of the wall, and then just repeat, keep going from red to yellow. Again, guys, we're gonna work 30 seconds here and then a 20 second superset again using the red pole. Maximum effort, guys, make sure it's maximum effort. This is how our training is gonna be effective. Let's get it. We are now moving on to the juicy stuff, which is working on passing and first touch, which is the goal of my session. What you're gonna do is place one cone one meter away from the wall and away you go. As you can see, the aim of this is to get a variety of different touches outside the foot, 
inside the foot, sole of your foot. Basically be creative with it guys, but more importantly, be consistent. Depending on your level will depend on how hard you want to play the pass. But the big focus here is being consistent with your touch, consistent with your passing, and have a variety guys. Mix it up as much as possible. For this drill, you're gonna do two sets of one minute. Okay guys, this next one is a little bit more for the advanced baller. I've just got an iPad in front. Guys, you don't really need this. I'm just adding it in. If you don't have an iPad, you can literally just make sure you're looking forward. So in a game, you want to be looking beyond, like obviously the wall, you want to be able to see the bigger picture. And that is why the iPad is there. So in this demo, you're going to play the pass and call the number color that is in front of you. That's going to force you to lift your eyes up. If you want the training tools that we use in this video, link can be found in the description. It's on our website. Here's a quick little demo with the sound. 10 red, 10 red, three blue, three blue, nine green, three white, 10 red, 10 red, three blue, three blue, nine green, three white, three white, 10 red, 16 red, 11 blue, 19 white, 2 green, 2 green, 5 white, 3 green, 18 red, 18 red, 5 blue, 13 white, 17 green, 11 red, 18 blue, 20 white, 20 white, all right guys drill number five super basic but one of my favorite gets the feet moving and it's great for both feet and a variety of touch as well play it into the wall and then it's a quick inside outside Big coaching point with this one is move the leg that isn't working to the outside of the ball so we can quickly shift it back. You're going to do one set on each side super quick. So one set on the right side, one set on the left side, and you're going to work for 30 seconds on each side. So guys, drill number six is really good. You have to find yourself a little L-shaped wall. I know this might be difficult for some people. If you haven't got that, you can still improvise with this drill. You're gonna work for 30 seconds, and the way it works is a little L-shaped pass where you're working both feet, kill it, shift it, reverse round the corner, repeat. So into both walls, kill it, shift it, round the corner, and then repeat. For this drill guys, because it's quite hard, you're going to do three sets of 30 seconds. Let's get after it.
drill number seven is exactly the same. The only added bonus is I have the iPad there now, which is gonna force me to look forwards. Again, I explained this before. When you play your games, it's about seeing the bigger picture. So this is gonna train that and also force you to lift your eyes forward, which is good training habits. Let's get into it, guys. You're gonna do two sets of 30 seconds on this one. Two, three. 17 reps. Four blue. So guys, drill number eight and your final drill for the session. It's pretty hard guys, definitely for the advanced bowler. So you're gonna put three cones down there in like a little triangle and we're gonna work on pretty much everything we've been trying to do throughout the session. I highly recommend just paying close attention to the routine here because it's pretty hard. So I highly recommend watching it a couple of times because it even took me a few times to get this routine down pat. Once you get it though, what a drill guys, so much fun. Give it a try. This is our last one. We're going to do two sets of one minute. Let's get it. Guys, that's the video. I'm so unfit, I've had two kids, I've got to stop making excuses. I'm gonna be using this to get fit, get my touches again. It's so simple and so easy to plan your own drills. But big advice, always start with planning it. It makes it so much better when you get down to the field or wherever you're training, you know what you're doing. The Jonah Football app will help you with programming. It's got programs built in, but it can also show you how you can pick some drills out of it and create your own session plan. The link below for the John Football app. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I'm hoping that we're now on 250K. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.